Hey everyone, I am Rob and welcome back to this collaboration between On The Fence Movie Review and The Knights of Horror to bring to you another episode of Slashback Friday. Now in this episode of Slashback Friday, I'm going to review a movie that came out in 1993 and it's probably, I would say... A lot of people really have this movie high on their Halloween list of movies to watch. Some even their favorite Halloween movie. And it is Hocus Pocus. Now, uh, I'm not going to get too... I'm going to mention some things that might be spoiler. Uh, nothing too crazy as far as the plot. But just little things that I want to mention that kind of I liked or didn't like. Um, now, Hocus Pocus follows... Uh, it starts off with these three sisters. It takes place, I believe, in the 1700s. Uh, these three sisters who are witches, they're in Salem, and they're feeding off of young children, their aura or their souls. or um, You know, they have a, a, the witches always have a pot, of a black kettle brewing, but um, I don't know if they throw the children in there and eat them that way or if they just suck the soul. But in this movie, they're kind of just sucking the soul out of this little girl. Her brother finds her, tries to stop it. He is unsuccessful, um, but they the townspeople find out about the witches they come but before they can get the witches they kill the little girl and they turn her little brother i mean her older brother i'm sorry her older brother into a cat who's pretty much immortal he's gonna have to live out uh, his life as a cat knowing that his sister he couldn't make it to his sister in time and that's kind of the witch's you know way of punishing him and cursing him and but the townspeople come they find him they you know were like hey where are our children they're not saying anything, uh, but they're going to hang them. But before they can hang them, uh, the eldest sister casts a spell, which, uh, you know, if someone lights a candle on on a Halloween, uh, it'll bring them back to life. And then they hang them, which is, a, this is like, I would say this is a kid's movie or children's movie, but um, very dark some areas and had very scary elements in some i would say even for children because i was like that's a little bit scary but you know I, I guess i watched it when i was little so i didn't turn out too bad at least i hope i didn't <laughs> anyways so that's kind of the 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 way this movie starts off so then we fast forward 300 years we're following uh this this young boy and his sister i believe his name's max um, you know, they just moved from California, they're in Salem, and, you know, they're trying to get acclimated to the area, trying to meet people, and, uh, you know, there is the story of the Sanderson, oh, that's the name of the witches, the Sanderson sisters, um, and they, they you know, they have lore, they, they're, you know, there's, a, um, you know, like a, like a visit, uh, like a tourist kind of attraction shop that was closed down, but, you, you know, there's hints of that in this movie, and so, you know, it's Halloween night, you know, the brother, you know, has to take his sister out trick-or-treating. He ends up running into a girl that he has a crush on from school. They kind of hang out. They end up going to this, where the old, where the witch's house used to be, or yeah, where, where they used to live. And, you know, he, act not accidentally, but he doesn't know the curse that was put on or the spell. He lights the candle, brings the witches back, and that's kind of where our story goes is, the witches need to, before the end of Halloween night's over, they need to suck all the souls out of the children to stay alive, otherwise they will die. And the, you know, we have the three children who, you know, it's a brother and sister, and then the brother, you know, he has a crush on this girl. It's them three kind of throughout the movie trying to stop the sisters, but also they are assisted, and, and it's an important character is uh, the cat that was the young boy from earlier in the movie that they turned into a cat who's immortal kind of helps them on their quest because he's been around this whole time watching over the house to, you know, making sure that this doesn't happen and it did happen. So he springs into action and kind of guides them and helps them and lets them know, um, you know, this is a safe area. The witches can't go here and we need to do this. This is how you stop them kind of thing. And that's kind of where I'm going to stop as far as details of the whole of the movie itself. Uh, again, I don't want to spoil anything for you if you decide to watch it. But I will say this. This is just my overall thoughts of this movie. Is I did enjoy it. Um, every year. Uh, I don't watch this movie every year. But I do watch it. it. You know, it's on the list of, oh, I should watch this movie around Halloween time. And I typically try to get to it. Because it is 
kind of a staple of Halloween, and, and it does take place on Halloween and involves witches. So, but but the thing I liked about it, and I I thought about this as I was watching it, um, these witches are funny, and they're funny, but they're they have evil intent, but it's in a funny way. Uh, I I liken these three witches to like the three stooges of witches. Um, you have the eldest witch, which you know she's very she's very to the business. This is what needs to get done. And the middle sister is wants to please the eldest sister, and she's always you know always by her side, always trying to help her. Anything she needs, she's there for her. Where the younger sister is just crazy and does her own thing and you know flies off the handle sometimes and that brings a funny element to these sisters and you know um just each one of them has their own personality and i think they do well in playing these characters how they did um and to the younger actors the the three children who are trying to stop them um i think they did a good job i i enjoyed it just you know it's very this movie is cheesy at times and I understand, you know, it's made for children and as an adult, you know, I, I look at them like, okay, as a kid, I would probably laugh at that or, you know, the, you know, this would be funny. Um, but overall the movie is enjoyable. There, there are funny elements. There are kind of dark elements like, you know, the sisters getting hung. Um, I, I you know, I, I just, I look at that and I'm like, oh, well, wow, I watched that as a child. So, I mean, 1993 i was kind of a child still young adult or young teenager i guess anyways dating myself but overall this movie is entertaining uh there are funny elements there are dark elements but in the negative um aspect of it there are little things that i'm gonna nitpick that that you know um bet miller is the main witch and there is a song no you know a song number for her where she's singing and it kind of just it feels a little out of place, but at the same time, it's silly. And I could see why they would throw it in there because Bette Midler um, is, that's what she was kind of known for. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're flying. Uh, there's this one scene where they're flying and chasing the kids. The kids are in a car. And, you know, they kind of make references as they're pulling them over like police. And um, I was just like, how do they know about police? Were there police back when they, when they were alive? Who knows? I don't know. I wasn't there. But little things like that, um, that, you know, I would nitpick about and be like, oh, that's kind of dumb or, oh, that, that, that joke didn't land. But overall, I'm going to I'm going to say you should get off the fence and check Hocus Pocus out because it is an entertaining movie. It is, it, you know, specifically around Halloween time. It is, you know, it is on Halloween that this movie takes place. So it just kind of has the overall feel of Halloween. Again, you know, there's little things in there that I'll be like, oh, that's kind of dumb or I didn't like that. But the majority of this movie, I was laughing. Um, you know, I was I was chuckling. I was like, oh yeah, that's funny. Uh, or, you know, they do just do little things. And um, the witches overall, just them as a core, I think they did a great job in being funny, being serious, and just kind of being the, the backbone of this movie. I think they did a great job. Uh, so there you go. So that, that's my thought on Hocus Pocus. Definitely get off the fence and check that out. Well, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Slashback Friday and this collaboration between the Knights of Horror and On the Fence Movie Review. We truly, again, we truly, truly do appreciate all your support. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Please subscribe to On the Fence Movie Reviews or and also the Knights of Horror. Uh, you can check us out on our YouTube pages, our Instagram. Uh, again, we truly do appreciate all of your support. And in saying all that, remember... Don't light candles in strange dark houses.